Hey, welcome to another episode of Getting Into Infosec Bytes. Short videos under five minutes with tips, resources, and news covering information security and things that will help you get into the field. So let's get into it today. Today I want to talk about Windows Subsystem for Linux 2. And so uh, what we have here is Windows has a subsystem uh, that runs Linux but they've done an upgrade to it where they actually are running a pure Linux kernel on Windows. And it's really uh, amazing. So um, to get this, you have to either uh, be on the 2004 release of Windows. So um, you can either get that through the Windows Insider program or it should be coming out pretty soon. So um, look out for that as well. So this is the website that helped me uh, get it set up over here. So um, so once you are on the right version of Linux, if you want to set up your Windows subsystem for Linux 2 uh, with VS Code, this is the website to go to. I'll put a link in the description, uh, but it basically walks you through a little background on Windows subsystem for Linux 2. I'll just call it WSL2 for now and uh, show you all the different things that are available. And it's, uh, it's really cool. And there's also an upgrade to Windows Terminal. Here we have Windows Terminal. And you have the PowerShell uh, interface as well, but you also have the drop down of picking any sort of, you know, the other uh, terminals or the other uh, options available. And so I did have Ubuntu installed in here. And so when I just clicked on that, here we go. I have a shell right into my Windows subsystem for, subsystem for Linux. So that's pretty cool. I found that uh, really useful. And so let's walk through just creating a file here. So now I'm on my Windows subsystem for Linux. If you can see, I do an ls-l and everything is here. And I'm going to touch a file and I'm not gonna go into Linux basics. I think um, there's plenty of tutorials for that, but I'm going to uh, do hello world. Okay. And now I'm going to open VS Code with hello world. And voila, here we have VS Code. It's running the file. It has a file open here, and I could make this a uh, bash script. I can make it a Python script. I can do whatever I want. But if you look here, it's connected to the Windows subsystem for Linux um, natively. And so I have this running on my desktop, but it's running in a pure Linux environment, which is awesome. So. Uh, it's really fun. I'm really excited about this. I've been using it. As you can see, I'm running Terraform through there. So um, it, it's really exciting and I definitely recommend checking that out. Um, go ahead and dive deep into it. Again, it's all about hands-on learning and just getting yourself, um, get your feet wet. And there's a bunch of free uh, coding examples online, you know, whether you want to learn Python or Go. Uh, whatever language you might want to learn or bash scripting. So I hope you found this useful. Please like and subscribe and, and spread the word about this and I'll talk to you again. Thanks. Bye.